Well, hello again and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio channel. Okay, well I put another mains lead on the amplifier. I've cleaned it up, got the dust out of it. Um, I checked all these, uh, checked all the diodes. As you can see, I've got all the dust off the board there. Uh, the valves are all in there, glowing away uh, very nicely. There's a nice breeze coming out of the amplifier because the fan's running. Um, put the new mains lead on. Uh, did I say that? Uh, probably. And um, I've actually had it running. So if I'll just show you the uh, the anode volts. Now this uh, this digital meter here, um, I've got on the two volt range, and I have this uh, high volt probe that I bought for the uh, for working on the other amplifier, the big one. Um, and if I put that on there, it's a thousand to one probe. So 2 volt range, 2000 volts. There we go, so that's 1250 volts on the, uh, on the anodes, on the plates, if you're in, the, uh, in America. 1250 odd volts. Now what it says is, in the instructions I should say, what it says is that this, uh, this little meter here, it's uh, set to um, anode current. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in this light actually, but it's set to anode current. That um, when I key the amplifier with no RF drive, this needle should come off the stop point and move up to the first little marker. And that first little marker is 50 milliamps. So I'll just put it in standby mode so that I can activate the relay. And now that's in standby mode. So I haven't got a, a keying line connected between the drive radio and the, uh, and the amplifier. So what I'll have to do is just fudge it, which is difficult to do with one hand. There we go, you probably heard that relay come on there. And now, if I look at it, it's on that first marker. So that's reading 50 milliamps. So that, um, that standby current is um, spot on, 50 milliamps. Now, I've got uh, a Yaesu FT450 connected, this thing here, and I'll just show you the RF power, there we go, so it's set to 35 watts, set to 35 watts of drive, okay, so now go back to the anode current meter and I whistle into it goes up to an amp which is 1250 watts DC input which is again what it says in the uh, in the instructions 1250 watts one amp of plate current um, although it's in the um, although it's in the red area that's what it says in the instructions Okay, so it's 1,250 watts going in. I've got a power meter hooked up here. And the 2,000 watt range, if you can have a look at the uh, it's, it's bloody thing will focus. If you look at the range switch, uh, it's set to two kilowatts. Uh, and then the function is power and forward. And if you look at the scale on the meter, the second one up is the 2,000 watt range. So I'll just blow into the microphone, or whistle into it. I'm not a very good whistler, hang on. I'm pursing my lips, wait for it. So there we go. So that's um, with 35 watts of drive. With 35 watts of drive, it's, uh, it's producing uh, 500 watts, according to that. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Focus, come on. With 500 watts of drive, uh, sorry, with 35 watts of drive, it's producing 500 watts output. And that's on that meter there. Might have been a whisker over 500 watts, you know, the tubes could be a little bit soft, possibly. Um, but it'd be interesting to see how much power um, uh, a bird through line meter indicates that uh, it's putting out. Um, because, uh, you know, 
It might be, uh, could be a little bit plus or minus of that, but um, I reckon that's a pretty good looking output for 35 watts of drive, 500 watts coming out of it. Um, I did have to uh, just use the um, MFJ uh, little mobile tuner there, the 945E, uh, just to match the um, the drive radio into the uh, into the linear amplifier. Uh, because the uh, the input matching circuit for the linear amplifier is not terribly good. It gave a gave a didn't give a particularly good SWR. So, oh, for God's sake! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to buy myself a new camera. I think this is just getting ridiculous, isn't it? Is it gonna? F no. Okay. I'll wrap it up. I can't uh, I can't be bothered to do it again. To be perfectly honest, so I'll just uh, I'll wrap it up. And um, oh, there we go. I'm going to chuck this camera in the bin and uh, buy myself another one. As always, um, I hope you found that uh, I hope you found that interesting. And um, is that focused? There, yeah, I think it has. Actually. Yeah, it's finally focused. I'll leave you with a final look of those nice glowing valves. As always, hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.